Good afternoon, morning, or evening. Or should I say good morning, good afternoon, or good evening? Because that would make more sense. But, yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> um, what's up? So, today, I am starting Visual Basic uh, tutorials again. I haven't made them in so freaking long. Um, and I'd like to take a couple minutes today to show you how to make a login form in Visual Basic. And this is like a simple login form which doesn't have many users or passwords. So, um, so if this is what you're looking for, you can keep following the tutorial. Um, our end result will look like this with different designs if you want to it doesn't really matter but um and as you can see if I maximize it um it anchors it and everything um I will be using this um this thing this project because I do not feel like um coding everything um when I do it cuz that'll take so long and I'm trying to keep this uh tutorial to a limited time preferably less than 10 minutes um all right i know i say um a lot but that's just because i have problems but not actually all right anyways um damn it uh, okay you want to make a new project a windows forms application um by the way i'm shit i'm using visual microsoft visual studio 11 and this is the beta version but this would work with 2010 2008 and I am making it with Visual Basic I'm not using any of these languages here Visual C Sharp, Visual C++ or F Sharp not using those I'm only using using Visual Basic right now so I go to Visual Basic Windows Forms Applications um, go ahead and name it whatever you want so I'm just gonna name it YouTube test or no just YouTube login form <coughs> so once you've done that make sure create directory for solution and don't need source control unless you want it doesn't matter and so Windows Forms control and go ahead and click OK um, we might encounter many um, issues with um, visual okay Screw um, screw it, screw it, stop, stop, Rotibino man, stop. All right, we might encounter some problems with um, shit. Okay, you know what? Whatever. We we might encounter some problems with Visual Studio because um, <coughs> because it is a beta version and it's not the best yet. <coughs> so. Okay, first thing we want to do is go into our handy dandy toolbox. And if you don't see your toolbox, you go to view and you find toolbox here. There's also many other things that you can find here. Um, right now we're just looking for toolbox. So view, toolbox. We're going to add a few things. We're going to add two labels. Label 1 and label 2. All I did was control C and control V, which means copy and paste. So I copied label 1 and I made a, lab a label 2 out of it. Um, I'm sure you guys know how to do that. But Next thing you want to do is find two text boxes. Two text boxes. Um, so Okay, so here's one text box. Make you want it on the blue line or the purple line, whatever color it is. No, preferably the blue line on here because that actually um, that actually makes them on the same line so it looks neat instead of like this text box being below the label so you want them on the same line so uh, here I have it on the same line you probably wouldn't want multi-line because we're making a user and password and I mean you don't want really multi-line for that multi-line means that like Let's say I run out of text field on the, this whole part. It's going to go to the next line on the bottom. It's going to 
just make a new line like when you press enter it makes a new line and then it keeps typing so you wouldn't really want to want that for a username and password thing <clears throat> so once I do that I'll just copy and paste it and I'll have it there stupid Skype um Okay, so you see it's in contact with all the blue lines, which is what I want. Now, here is the renaming. So you're going to click on Label 1. And in your Properties window, right here, which is um, this like little freaking, I don't know what that is, but I don't know. It just looks like a, well, whatever, you'll figure it out. It's beside the lightning sign. Um, where it's at, where you see text, you can erase it and name it username and as you can see here it will become username if you want you can also put a colon S doesn't matter for the label you're gonna wanna put password and I'll put the colon as well alright um I don't know why I keep saying um it's a problem that I have, I guess, now that I think about it. <clears throat> As you can see, um, oh my god. Okay, you know, I'm stopping, like, stopping myself. If you go up to here in name, you'll see that it's called text box 1. Now, name doesn't mean text. So, the name is what the actual text box is called. So, like, this is called text box 1, and this is called text box 2. This is called the label one, and this is called label two, because that those are how I made them. So in text box one, I have its text here and all of that crap, but I'll go on to that later. Um, I might have to split this into two parts. I'm not exactly sure. This is my finished one, so I'm gonna go into its code here. Um, it has a bit of code, not too much. <coughs> And I'm going to copy everything from here, and I'll explain it later. Oh, I'm sorry. I actually forgot something. I forgot to add a button. Whoopsies. Okay, well, you're going to want to add a button from the toolbox. And in the text, make sure it's not in the name, not name. You want it to be in text. Uh, where did text go? All right, text. You want to call it login. Obviously, you don't have to follow my exact steps. You could call it like sign in or whatever you want. And but I'm I'm just making it like a normal one. So to view the code for a specific thing. So let's say I want to see the button's code. What I would do is I would either click on the button then go to um then I'd right click on it and click view code or what I like to do is just double click the button and it brings you to its code <clears throat> so from the other project I copied all its code for button one and I'm just gonna go ahead and paste it here now um I, I'll probably just have this in the description if YouTube lets it I know a lot of the times um, people can't post things because YouTube doesn't let it, so I might have to put it in a notepad, uh, in a notepad thing, but, document, but, um, we'll see about that. So, here, here's my explaining time. So, I've already had this, um, here, that just, it's already made for me, when I click the button. So, it's telling me private sub, which means, like, a new, a new thing, I, I don't know what thing, what I can say for thing, but, a new class, let's say, let's call it that. Private sub, so on button one click, so when you click button one, um, and then here is basically what happens when you click button one. So what I'm saying is if textbox one dot text equals um, nothing, so in order for me to describe nothing, I put um, just two two uh, quotations with nothing in the middle. Just two quotations. 
or so if the text box if the text in text box one which is this text equals nothing so there's nothing in that text box then or if there's nothing in this text box or text box two dot text equals that then message box dot show please enter text what message box dot show means is that it gives up a little pop-up window that says please enter text and you want to end if which means like ending the if statement I assume that you have prior knowledge of visual basic not a lot but a bit and so if you don't you might need to watch a beginner tutorial instead of going to instead of going this far with um, without knowing anything <coughs> Then I put if text box one dot text equals Adam and text box two dot text equals Adam. So if I put Adam in this text box and Adam in this text box, or in that in text box one I put Adam cheek and in text box two I put Adam cheek. Again, text box one I put Adam cheek two Adam cheek, or text box one I put hey. And text box two dot text is hey two as well. Uh, make sure it's all in the same line. Only when you write then you make another uh, line. You put an enter. So if if um if my text box includes any one of these words inside for the username and password. So if my text box um said Adam and Adam, what would happen? Then form to dot show so then it would show another form now you I don't ha I have a um a problem here it says that form 2 is not declared now what this means is that I haven't really created a form 2 so what I'm gonna wanna do is go to uh... where is it project go ahead and click add windows form and you're gonna wanna click windows form and leave it as form 2 dot vb if you want to follow with this tutorial and I mean you don't really have to put anything in here I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put um, I'm just gonna put that inside and as you can see I no longer have the error so if I input that text into each text box then form 2 then this form this is form 2 will pop up this will show else meaning otherwise so if I don't put this te this text then a message box which is the pop-up box will show and it will say sorry try again so now what we're gonna wanna do is test it so in order to test it you wanna click that gr um, green start button if you're if you're using 2010 or 2008 it will be green if you're using 11, it would be gray. Anyways, um, in the username, um, I will put Adam in the password Adam. And login, you see form 2 is open now. Now, you might want to put the password characters as these. Like those little stars or this. It doesn't matter what you can put as this. Anything you want. That doesn't matter. So I'll get to that soon, but first I just want to add the basic code. So, and as you can see, let's say I put nothing inside. It says, please enter text. And then it says, sorry, try again. Um, if I put Adam Cheek and Adam Cheek, and I press login, I'll have it. If I put hey and hey, login, there it is. Now notice if I put anything else like it will say sorry try again because I said if it's not if it's else from these um from this text then the message box will say sorry try again and then you want to put your end if um thing yeah all right this is getting pretty long already um might split this up into two parts I don't know next thing you want to do so sorry for the background noise if you hear that but if you whoops sorry if you um where the hell is it oh true it's here 
if you want to make enter work so let me show you you see um if i try to click the enter button it won't work as log as login if i so yeah what i want to do is um oh i'm sorry i put in completely wrong thing <clears throat> so in button one i want to go to this and this is the um this is the shit i forget i forget what it's called um one second let me find it for you these are called events events yes events so in the events i'm gonna want to find key down so just press k and it'll bring you the key down you're gonna want to you're gonna want to make sure that it's on button one and then here go ahead and click key down now i'm in a new kind of private sub that's on button one when you hit the key like so let's say i hit i put enter and so what will happen when i click enter so basically what i'm saying if e dot key code which is it's this is basically like um if it's the key code is basically like um all the letters and everything on a keyboard so if e dot key code equals keys so those are the keys dot enter so the enter key then e dot suppress key press equals true so here i just put a comment for myself comments don't affect your code like it's the green stuff the green text i don't affect your code and to put a comment in visual basic you just want to put the uh that thing i don't know what it's called the uh, singular quote is what i'll call it for now <clears throat> but this little sign is what you want to put there i know what it's called so i'm not stupid i know what it's called but i just forget right now so what will happen is When I log in, or sorry, no, when I put something wrong, and I press enter, it'll go back. Now, what if I want to do it for, um, for button one click? So what if, what if I want to do it for this? As you can see, I can't when I press enter it doesn't work as login and so I'm gonna want to make it work for login so because um, my last thing that I the last text that I put is in form 2 and that would be the wrong text or the right text no sorry the wrong text um, when I press enter after after I write the text in there that will trigger the login so what I'm gonna want to do is go instead of button one go to text box two and I believe I put it in yes key down so I'm, you're gonna wanna go back press key and find key down um sorry alright so this is again like the other um code that I put so if e dot key code equals keys dot enter so the enter key then button one dot perform click meaning that in s that it substitutes for clicking the button one so I'm gonna put anything random and I'm gonna click enter and as you can see look at my mouse I'll put my mouse right here so you can see it here's my mouse and as you can see I'm not clicking login because I can't so I'm just gonna click enter and it says sorry try again and I can click enter again let's say I put the right um, thing I can still click enter and it would work um, okay so I'm just uh, yeah I'm gonna stop it right here and I'll upload my tutorial right after this one I'll make my new tutorial um, right after this so you're gonna be able to see both tutorials. So peace out for now and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye.